Today is 1019, October the 19th, and our title is Dino Baby. Dino Baby. We have a dino town. That we did yesterday, but now we need some dinosaurs to inhabit it. So let's get our sketchbook opened up here. We're going to create ourselves a little dino baby today. So don't forget to put the date on your entry. There we go. 1019. And let's get started. We're going to start with a foreshortened circle, which is basically just a squashed oval, like that. Okay? And then we're going to bring it down to create the bottom of the egg. So we're going to come down in a curve on both sides and then attach the bottom, just like that. Okay? So there is the bottom of your egg. So let's go ahead and create the lid to the egg. Now you got to kind of measure it. you got to think, okay? It's about from the end of my pencil to here. So what that means is when I have this opened up, it should be about this long. Okay? So whenever you do it, make it about this long at this point. Make a four shortened circle. Again, because you don't want it to be too small because it's got to, you pretend if it's closed, it would actually be right on there. Okay? So this can actually run off the page if you need it to. So go ahead and curve it as well. I'm just going to stop it right at that edge, which is fine. Now let's make the dinosaur coming out. So I'm going to erase some of this area right here so I have room for him to come out. And I'm going to bring the body up like this. And I'm going to create a head by coming up and over like this. And it's going to be kind of an oval shape. I'm going to come around like that. Okay? So I've got that. Let's add some details to this dinosaur to fix him up a little bit. Okay? So what we're going to do is give him some eyes. So I've got one here, just kind of an oval. And I have one that's coming behind. Okay? Erase what you don't need. So I don't need that line running through the middle of his eye. That's gone. And let's make some eyes like he's looking out. He's looking around. And a little bit of hair coming off the back. Okay, so already he's kind of coming to life now. Let's give him a little smile and create his mouth like this. Okay, have a little tongue sticking out here. Okay, he's a baby. He doesn't know any better. Erase what you don't need. Get those, rid of those lines. Those lines are in your way. Okay, and let's go ahead and create some texture to this egg, okay? You know when an egg cracks, the edges of your egg are not smooth, okay? So go ahead and erase your line a little bit. Okay, we've already got it there. You want to still see it because you need a guideline. But then we're just going to come along and we're going to bring some triangles coming up and make it jagged. Make like a wiggly, wobbly line and bring some lines up like it's cracked. Okay, you're going to do the same thing on the back part. Okay, and you can see already that's just changing the look of that. You're going to do the same thing here in the front of the egg. Okay, go ahead, just crack some areas. Some can be deep, some don't have to be. Lighten it up back here, and a little bit of crackage in the back too. Okay, so we've got our egg, we've got it cracked, we've got our dino. We just need to add our shading and our details and then we'll be done. So we're going to put a horizon line in the back, since this is actually sitting on the ground. And when we do some shading, I'm going to do a little bit of shading just here on the left. Okay, a little bit darker on the edge and lighter as you move up, so blend it a little bit. I've got some shading there. I'm going to do some shading down the left side here. Not a big deal. Dark to light, just a little bit there. And then all down the left of my dino. Simple little shading, not a big deal. And a little bit just right under his chin from the shadow of his mouth. Okay, so we've got all of that. I think the only thing we really need to continue to add is just the cast shadow coming off of this egg. So it's going to go to the left, and you're just going to bring it off of this curve and just a little bit 
right like that. Okay, and that's it. So I'd like you to make one of these today. Please make sure you erase any lines or marks that you don't need. Use your foreshortening, okay? Create that ellipse, create that squashed oval. Make sure they're equal, okay? You don't want one really small and one really big. Try to keep them the same size. Don't forget to add your details, like the hair, the tongue, the cracks in the egg, and then your other things like your shading, all along the left sides here, your cast shadow, and your horizon line.